Good morning everyone, it's Wednesday, May the 2nd, and I hope you're having a great day. Um, we're going to continue on this subject of take note, and, and this morning we're going to talk about take note of your speaking. You know, in the Bible it says that the tongue is, is a difficult thing to train. And, and so when you begin to think about your tongue and, and, and making it to, it says that in the Bible you cannot have praise and curses coming out of your mouth at the same time. Let me read this ver verse again to you and I'll complete the verse from the yesterday. Verse 19, it says, slow to speak. Slow to speak what? Bad stuff? Bad words? Any words mean words. Be slow to speak. Think before you talk. Joanne Brahms, a German composer, was absolutely truthful in everything he said. He could not, not even tell an ordinary conventional fib. His friends were as wax in his hands. He was a man as he was an artist. There was a, not a blot of on his superb character, but he was never accustomed to restraining himself nor to holding his tongue. If, if he disliked anything, he would say, say so frankly. This bluntness con combined with his rough manner frequently made him appear very harsh. The following remark of some wit was current in Vienna. One evening, Brahms, on t taking leave of his hostess at a party, said, Ex "Kindly excuse me, if I have, ha if, if by chance I have forgotten to offend you, offend one of your guests. In other words, if I offended you verbally, I, w I meant to do that. Please forgive me if for not offending you." Kind of sounds like the TVs that the 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 TV that we watch today, that that comedians and how they talk and how TV has become very brash and very offensive. Here, let me give you a couple passages of scripture. Ephesians four twenty nine says this: Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. See, don't speak uh, words that tear people down. Speak words that build them up. Or the old adage may, may apply. If you can't say something good, then don't say anything at all. Well, how about Colossians 4, 5, and 6? Be wise in, in the way you act toward outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Speak gracious words. How about 2 Timothy 2, 24-26? It says, And the Lord's servant must not quarrel. Instead, he must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. Those who oppose him, he must gently instruct. In the hope that God may grant them repentance, lead them to a knowledge of the truth, and that they will come to their senses and escape the traps of the devil, who has taken them captive by his will. So you don't quarrel or argue with people. Be kind, be gentle, be slow to speak unless it's good stuff. And when we understand that about speaking kind words, I don't know about you, I like to hear kind words. I love to hear, uh, you know, that they like me. And I don't like debating, I don't like arguing. But there's sometimes that you do, but it says to be angry and sin not, and we'll, we'll deal with that tomorrow. But there's a fact that how we speak to some people really begin to tear somebody down or, or cause hardship or problems. And, and God just wants to say, hey... Speak the way you want to be spoken to. Let me pray for you today. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you bless every single person. I pray that you bless them in everything they do, Lord. And I pray for the most that they, you give them the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today. In your name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day.